Okay, some nice improvements here to Enterprise PBM in SOLIDWORKS 2014. First thing we'll look at is caching options. So we'll just switch to our administration tool. And within here, we can apply new caching options directly to groups or to users. If we just launch engineers, we have our cache options down the bottom. Now it's possible for us when we're working in Enterprise PDM, uh, we can clear our cache during the logout and we can refresh our cache during login. These options are folder specific, so typically you might want to do them with uh, things like library uh, features and maybe templates as well. So it just ensures that you've got the, the latest version of those on your machine every time you log in and out of the, uh, the vault. If we go to our settings and then to our reference dialog box, um, we've got the option here always work with the latest version of file. So that's always um, been available to us, but we now have the enable the get version command in SOLIDWORKS add-in. So prior to this version, that tick box wasn't there and it just meant that a user opening up a, a file uh, with references would always have the latest version of those references, which is good, but in terms of comparing one version against another, it was a little bit limited because they couldn't get to, to previous versions. Now we have this, it's, it's just a, taking that limitation away. Okay, if we actually go into the vault as a user, We'll have a look at some new options within here. So we're just gonna bring up um, or select an assembly to begin with. So the first new option we have in here is the ability to customize um, these columns that are shown in the contains tab or the where use tab or the check in check out. We just simply right click, we can go to more and we can bring up any one of these properties as a tab. So this is really useful in this case because I have a numerical naming system here for my parts and I'm not sure what they are. Uh, having the description next to them really helps. Now, in terms of how we view this, we've got, or historically had two options. We could show the top level only, which collapses all the sub-assemblies, or we could show all levels, which expands all the sub-assemblies. Um, now we can choose which sub-assemblies that we want to expand directly from this tree structure here. So if I want to expand that and collapse that, I can do. So obviously that's gonna make it easier to navigate uh, through that tree structure. Okay, now if we go to the checkout dialog box, we'll have a look at a couple of new options within here. Okay, so first off, um, if we want to get all the reference documents um, at the moment, we have to shift select everything and then uh, select get. Now we can show a reference selection control, which just adds an additional box um, to these columns. And what that allows us to do is if we want to select a assembly with references, as an example, we can do so at the click of a button. If we want all the components, again, we can do that at the click of a button. So it's just making that whole interface a little bit nicer to work with. Of course, again, here we can reference other um, column properties. So if I want the description through, again, I can get that like so. Again, we can expand and collapse our tree structure like so. So we're not limited to top level or show all levels. The other nice new control within here are these toggle switches here, which allows us to cycle through errors. Okay, so now we've got warnings next to all of our files because I've got this document open in SOLIDWORKS at the moment. Um, and you can see as I click on those buttons, it cycles through those warnings. But let's say we only had a couple of errors um, within this whole assembly structure and it, those errors might be nested within sub-assemblies. It could be a little bit of a pain to find them before. Now with these toggles, it's gonna to be really simple. It'll just take you straight to where those errors are, regardless of where they are in the tree structure. Okay, if we switch to the SOLIDWORKS assembly here, and we'll have a look at some new options within our uh, client view in the task pane. First off, we have this reference version column. Okay, so what this tells us in the version number column is what file or what version of the file we are working with. 
in the reference version column, it's telling us what version of the file was used when this assembly was last checked in. So if we just expand um, one of the sub assemblies, you'll see that there's a little warning next to one of our components. And the reason that warning is there is because we are using version number two of two, but when the top level assembly was first built, it was checked in using version one of two. So that's what the warning is for. And now we have the new options which allow us to get the previous version, even though we're using enable working with late, latest version of files without a problem. Now we still get the warning there just because we're working with an older version of the file now. So some nice enhancements to Enterprise PDM there. If we just summarize them, we have automated cache management, which is going to be useful for library components and toolbox parts. Uh, we have new latest version checkout options. Uh, we can configure the where use contains and checkout columns um, with our description in this case. Uh, we can expand and collapse assembly structures. We have a warnings toggle and we have reference selection controls. And in the task pane, we can reference the version column. In the task pane, we have the reference version column which allows us to see what version of the file was checked in with the uh, top level assembly. Okay, we'll stick with me for CircuitWorks and Flow.